If you do not get anything from this video, get this one. If you want to start business, think of what you can do for free. Package it and do it for a fee. Hi everyone, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl! darling thank you all so much for joining all my ogs welcome back and if this is the first time you're coming across this channel please consider subscribing and click that notification bell so you do not miss any of my content why because on this channel i talk about all things wedding planning because i'm a wedding planner i talk about business because i also run other businesses aside wedding planning and i also do lifestyle vlogs showing my city because i'm based here in port harcourt nigeria bringing you all the exciting content on today's video i'm going to be talking about how i started my wedding slash event planning business in nigeria with zero skill and zero money straight out of uni how i started this business if that's the kind of content you're interested in please keep on watching my name is asitonka agri abba and the channel is called acid darling because i'm such a damn <laughs> it's like why did i decide to do event planning for some of you that know i'm a petroleum engineering graduate so a lot of people go like petroleum engineering why did you do event planning okay so Brief backstory, as at the time we're graduating, um, for those of you that do not know, please check out my Get to Know Me Q&A video so that you learn some other things about me. But when we're graduating, I was writing my project by 2012 and that was when the oil prices were like tank. 2012-2011, we started hearing oil prices, they were laying off staff, all the people that were promising us work based on where we, I had a very high score graduating and all of that. They were also losing their jobs and it wasn't a perfect market. You know how the oil prices can be. So coming out of that, I knew I needed to do something else. The second main point was, okay, I still had it in me to give PE, that's petroleum engineering, a try because this was my life for six whole years i needed to put in more effort i went for a conference i wanted to write paper i got in touch with my president because i was the vice president of petroleum and um, spe that's society of petroleum engineers it's an international body i was the vice president for my chapter that's uniport i met the president he was a year above me of course that's usually how we do it uh, uh, his name is Ali Solomon. So I was like, you know what? Let's come together. We had agreed we we're going to write papers. We we're going to present papers. I, the moment I came back from Lagos to Aquaibom, because I was I'm a youth copper in Aquaibom, my dear, hmm, everything. My laptop had crashed. It was a mess. Like I could not believe that five six years of research and work had just gone like that. So that was also another point that just made me know. You know what? I had to start thinking of other things. That's my main why, which is number one. Your why? When I was done with youth service, you know, I had already like for those of you that don't know how I met my husband and all of that. It's also linked to this place. Please go and watch that video. When I was done with youth service, I had met my husband. After youth service, I was starting my. Um, um, introduction just a few few weeks after my youth service i did my introduction and then i met my mom um i got a car the moment i was done with youth service i got a car and i was so happy so my mom told me about the uin conference um uin um program that the federal government was running and i was supposed to come up with a business plan this is where everything just went you're supposed to come up with a business plan so she was like ask you what can you do so if you're about to start business and you're watching this video that's the first question i want to ask you what can you do i went i was like god what can i do really what can i do apart from book i just found out that all the years i went to school i did not sell anything so for if you're watching this video and you're like i see some of you are so entrepreneurial you already have business mindset you're a good marketer no no i did not sell anything in youth service i had no no idea that i was going to do entrepreneurship no idea i gave all my life blood sweat tears i was reading all through the night every other day i was always in class always reading because i thought i was going to work so i did not plan for this lifestyle seriously yes it worked out so if you're if you're having like doubts about starting out um in business because you do not have the you do not have it in you i'm just giving you my story okay so when my mother asked me that i found out that i seriously could not do anything apart from reading <laughs> and it was just a, a it was like are you serious some people have skills some people can do this can do that but as cannot do anything and i felt bad but then i picked myself up and i got this message i think um chef freggs have put up a message about this is the the main business tip if you do not get anything from this video get this one if you want to start business think of what you can do for free package it and do it for a fee what can you do for free think of it Package it and do it for a fee. Whatever you can do for free can be packaged and it can be done for a fee. 
do you understand like that was just my saving grace so i started thinking what can i do for free i planned um there was one miss nigeria uh, miss rivers river states on portacourt conference i even i was one of the uh, hosts in that i did miss uniport i was among the planning committee and i just found out that like planning all these event things came naturally to me like it wasn't work it was something i could do for free because they didn't pay me there so i was like okay cool let me start thinking about this and before i started youth service i went for a free sewing program so i could i can sew I learned it, but I knew that I cannot do it as a business because I wasn't cut out for it. After learning it, I knew that the best I can do is to have a sewing machine to sew for myself, but I cannot sew for clients. Like, I did not want that kind of pressure and all of that, okay? So most times, you can start out something, but the best thing you can do for yourself is to be truthful, okay? I knew right from time that sewing wasn't for me, so I moved to the Okay, next. so point number two is getting a business plan. Now that you know you can do events for free, like I said, I had done some pageants and some faculty and department mental things and even in SUG I told you guys I was in SUG I did I played student politics so I also knew that politics is not something you can do as entrepreneurship but then I knew that okay this planning was something I could do for free so the second point was to get a business plan do you win back then they will give you like a business um like a template a business plan template for you to fill and that template was what guided me to knowing more about event planning because let's say i just said okay i can plan but i did not know anything about the business i did not know the business side when they were asking who are your competitors why do you need this money how are you going to pay us back and all those things that made me do more research okay so number two is to get a business plan this particular business plan i'm going to do it as a separate video where i will break down the business plan i got back then from you win I will show you how I filled my own business plan. Then I'll get a proper business plan that I used. I can show somebody now and then we'll do it together. Remember, if you have a business idea, let me know in the comment section below. I can use your business idea like an example to do a whole, a whole video about a business plan. Okay, so that will be the third thing I will show. Whatever business idea you write, I'll just pick one randomly and we'll, we'll go through like what do you guys think let me know if that's going to be very appreciated let me know in the comment section below let's so that we do not drag this video too long the business plan which is the second tip which is what i did i'm going to do it in a separate video so you know that i was using my wedding as my first event job and then if you have not watched how i met my husband please go and watch those videos how i met my husband and i was supposed to marry march 28 the name of my business is 3003 events which was gotten from 30th march which is my birthday so I, the plan was to marry march 28th and launch it 30th march 2015 but that didn't work but i still launched it 30th march i, I now got married um in may 24th may i just celebrated my five years in marriage if you also know what that video you can watch that so this is where it came together um planning that side by side with planning my wedding I had to brand my wedding so now my wedding is um i had to sorry i had to brand my business now my wedding is coming up um i got i got good vendors because of my business i had a lot of other vendors but let's say for pictures and photo i used image faculty and i used stone blast i got those vendors because of my business i wanted excellence the election i had a friend of mine that her father was coming out for deputy governor for a particular state and when we go for all this campaign that i go with her um, I met somebody there that said he's a, he's a graphic designer. I was like, oh, I'm going to start a company. Can you please do a logo for me? He says, fine. That was the, that's the first logo my company used. I'll find a way to attach it. That's my first 3003 logo. I had it on my, on my um, complimentary card and all of that. If you ask me, how did you get money to get your complimentary card? Remember I talked about getting a car and then my husband used to give me money like money for the house and all of that. I'll still buy the things and if I have change, I call my printer. 7,500 Naira, I'm going to convert it. We'll give you a pack of 100 cards. I got my first 100 cards. Remember my husband was against me doing event planning. If you have not watched that video, please go and watch the videos about my assumptions and how I met my husband and everything. I, I explained it there because he met me as a petroleum engineer and he did not think I should do event planning. Okay, I got t-shirts with my business logo because I wanted to come off as professional as possible. Let's say backstory, like how did you now learn about the business third research? I read in the night a lot from school. I did a lot of TDB, so I was already used to reading in the night. So my husband is sleeping, I'm up. Sometimes I'm up to 4 a.m. 
studying but not that most of these things i was learning was about event planning abroad event planning the main event planning i had to learn was hands-on because planning an event in nigeria is 100 percent hands-on i also offer event planning trainings i'm going to also link the um, you can check my com my um you can check my event planning company the next one is going to be coming up pretty soon our event planning classes if you want to learn about event planning let me know in the comment section below let's get to point number four planning my wedding when it was time to plan my wedding, I hyped it up on social media. I had opened an Instagram page. I wrote like, okay, 3,003 events. I had my personal page, but I got an Instagram page. I started telling my friends, please, I'm an event planner. I'm an event planner. If I see somebody pass with engagement ring, I'll call you. Please let me plan for free. Where I went to buy shirts for my husband for our wedding, ouch, in Lagos. One of my first bride, she was the sales rep. And I told her, I'm an event planner. And she says, oh, her wedding is coming up in Benin. Can I come? I said, yes, I can come. And that's how I started. She actually told me, I said, I no, I can do it for free now because her budget is low. I said, no problem. As long as you pay my transport, accommodation, and you pay the girl I'm coming with. So I took my, my, my best friend's younger sister. Remember I said in a previous video, the video about what you need to know about planning business. If you have not watched that, my previous video, go back and watch it. I talked about making sure you pay whoever you're working with. So I was taking my, my friend's sister, Naomi, all the way to Benin to plan her wedding. And we made, I made sure I paid her. I made sure, I would try to put pictures of my first, of my first event. went it was beautiful and from there i started gaining momentum i started reinvesting any money i get i put it back inside i will buy props i will do things i'll try to be different because i'm already small the best way to distinguish yourself when you're small and you're starting out in business is to find your niche find an area where you can exploit and push i'm a very emotional person i get so attached to my couples like Amongst all the event planners, I can say I'm one person that I know all the names of the children born from the first, from the first wedding I planned, which was that wedding in Benin till date. All the couples that actually show, like show me their kids and all of that, I know them. I have it listed. We are getting up to 50 children right now. For this, my five years business, we've had up to 50 kids and that's like amazing. God has been. So that's the kind of thing I do. That's the kind of, a lot of people will see me. So when tomorrow I put up a picture, hey, we have a baby. They know that this is Asi. This is something that no other planner does. This is how she does her thing. So you have to find your, your, you have to find something that makes you unique when it comes to starting a business. Okay. In finding your uniqueness for me, I had very captioned posts and that was like i said back then when instagram was really pushing small creators right now i just feel um organic search is dead in instagram it's like three percent if you do not sponsor your video nobody will see it or if you do not sponsor your picture nobody will see it. even people that are following you before they will get to your page they would have been exhausted because instagram is pushing so much sponsored post up and that's why right now i just treat my instagram page as an album where i drop pictures i'm going to purposely be dropping a lot of pictures whether or not it gets likes but i'll drop it as my album. first major marketing when it came to my business was nigerian wedding i sponsored my business to do um like for nigerian wedding to be putting up my pictures every week for a whole year i think back then they said 200,000. I did not have 200,000 because how much how much was I charging? And I did not tell my husband. My husband didn't give me one penny for this business. I'm telling you, till tomorrow I'll tell him. One, I made sure that I put every single thing back myself. So I told them um, if there was installment, instrumental payments, they said yes. 67,000 three times. So that was what I did. The first payment, second and third. That major marketing I did pushed my business. So even if you're starting out a new business, that's why people have brand influencers. That's why people have different people working for them. Because that, that's, that is one thing that helps, especially as a small business. They'll just come and they don't mind spending two million signing people as brand influencers because it gives them a push in terms of marketing i did not have brand influencers but i had to pay for a certain marketing because at that time thankfully i paid at that time because um in my states people were not putting so much emphasis on that kind of push when it comes to social media and that took my business that kind of 10x my business like you rose it from the shadows and from then on i started taking different jobs i was getting better jobs i was getting back to back booking and i needed to do was scale up i had to start getting more temporary staff but this is my advice 
okay i know that i'm not giving because this is just like a backstory if you have more in-depth questions about areas where you think i did not mention about starting my business let me know in the comment section below because i didn't want this video to be too long and boring okay that's why i decided to just give people just little 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 like how i started it took me a very long time to get an office and that's why one thing i'll ask i'll tell you like if you're starting a business don't be under so much pressure to get an office keep your overhead costs down okay i was trying as much as possible to keep my overhead costs down that's why i did not get permanent staff immediately you're just a new business you want to start paying staff you've not even started getting enough income talk more of profits talk more of this like you're not paying your staff from your income you're paying your staff from the month from your profit so after you've removed your capital whatever is left of the profit staff rent this one that one unless you're starting business with a huge chunk of capital or you save money somewhere i do not think it's wise okay try to start small even if you're selling clothes start online everything is going online now thankfully there's no shame in the game put those clothes in your car if somebody says oh i do not really know and the person is in your city you can take different sizes and go to them they'll pick the one they want around there you have other things in your bag you have other things in your boots you cannot be ashamed and you're selling or you're doing a business no wreck your business every single time so i was able to scale up my business after that point because the best thing marketing can do is to just expose you the rest is in your hands i started pushing i started pushing like new content better ideas better jobs and then youtube okay that's why i decided to start doing more events business kind of um videos on youtube because an extension of my business of my brand that's part of scaling up and i also have a podcast please check the link listen to my podcast in the comment section below if you're if you want to start event planning if you're if you're an upcoming or you're an intending bride if you're somebody that you want business please go and subscribe and rate my podcast i'm looking out for all my youtube family to rate my podcast you'll see all the links to apple spotify google play just please go there let me know that you're coming from youtube just go there give the podcast five star rating guys i would really appreciate your support part of like my scaling up i started doing event trainings i've been doing trainings for like four classes now the fifth master class is supposed to start soon it will be an online training because i'm moving to the online space so if you started your business what were your challenges let me know in the comment section below i'm also going to be doing a video about the challenges i've had in business i'm going to be doing different than many videos coming up but if you have any distinct question let me know in the comment section below if you have an idea and you're scared to execute do you have an idea like you've been thinking i say i want to start a business i do not know how to go about it let me know is it a clothing business is it a hair business is it i would do a video dedicated to whatever you write in the comment section probably i'll choose best three or i'll just do for everybody but i think i'll probably put it in a business playlist where i, will, I can do a, a mini research for you furnish you with some materials and contacts and do like a video let me know in the comment section below if you like that kind of video i do consultations for companies so that's when i come when it comes to business i do consultations for smes giving them business ideas um trying trying to push them you know help them i'm going to be doing some of those consultations here on youtube for free yes guys i'll be doing it for free so if you have a business tip if you have something that you want me to review let me know in the comment section below if it's something that you want me to talk to you about privately you can send me a dm on acid darling thank you guys so much for watching i remember your girl acid darling if you have not subscribed please subscribe click the like button if you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next video Bye.